Where's my flying car? In recent years, flying car hopefuls turned their eyes toward the Terrafugia transition. But the transition is not a flying car. It's a roadable aircraft. The distinction, for those who make it, is simple. To fly a Terrafugia transition, you need an airport. You also need a pilot. And a pilot who considers his or her options will find that for the price of a transition, which currently sits near $250,000 U.S. dollars, they can buy a less expensive non-roadable aircraft that carries more passengers faster and farther than the Terrafugia, especially if they're willing to buy used. And if a pilot considers that option, they could find themselves spending $100,000 on one of these and $100,000 more on one of these. True, those vehicles won't let them drive away from their destination airport like a Terrafugia would, but they'd still have $50,000 left for a rental car. But all this avoids the basic question that remains, even in a post-Terrafugia world. Where is my flying car? Enter the Multicopter. You're watching a demonstration of a scaled-down, highly automated flying machine with programmed stability, inherent redundancy, and essentially an everyman ease of operation. A multicopter. In these smaller scaled examples, the vehicle's agility is far superior to fixed wing vehicles. Here's one flying through a window. Here are two playing catch with each other, autonomously. And here's one using GPS signals to autonomously maintain its position while physically bumped by the man standing next to it. Now, None of those things directly translate into necessary attributes for a flying car, but they may showcase the kind of operational characteristics that a future flying car should incorporate. Inherent stability, autonomous navigation, precision control, redundancy, and every man ease of operation. So where is my flying car? The system you've been watching has already been demonstrated full scale. The company name is Evolo, a team of three men operating from Germany. Together, they've created this manned electric 16-rotor multi-copter. The 16 rotors drive simple fixed-pitch propellers. The men say their craft can fly for up to 30 minutes in low exertion conditions. It's capable of safe flight if up to four of its motors fail. And because the pilot is seated above the rotors, a ballistic parachute can easily be added for extra security at the cost of weight and endurance. So, what are we waiting for? The answer is still affordable technology. This is an electric vehicle and battery capacity, weight and endurance are still issues. But time may change all that. So where's your flying car? You may be looking at the pre-Model T of the class. Or maybe not.